Long ago, in a far-off world, there lived a peculiar creature. No one knew her true name, and so the animals called her Curious. Curious spent her days looking into the sky. She had heard there were many things beyond her own world, but she could not see them. Her friends, the animals, would pass by her and ask, Why do you look into the sky? I want to know where it goes and what it means. The animals would always look at her and then look into the sky. We are here. That is there. Why does it matter? I don't know, but I want to. Curious could not help but wonder. Her friends would sit with her for a while, but no answers came. That is, until she discovered her own answer. She would explore these far off places by building herself a new home. She invited all her animal friends to come along. Curious made sure to pack all the things they would need. Food, space, and of course her friends. Together they built a gigantic spaceship. Even the plants helped. Everyone was invited to come along on her grand adventure. Once they were all inside, they strapped themselves in and began the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! All right, Clover, that's it for tonight. It's time for bed. The name's Clover. You might have heard some call me a hero, but I'm no hero. I'm just doing my job. Wait, I don't recognize you. Is this your first time to the apartment? Here, let me show you around. This is the hallway. We use it to get from place to place. And this is the office. Humans use it to do office stuff. Whoa. Oh, whoa, what is that? This is the trash, but, oh, something is wrong. That does not normally, oh, uh, don't worry. <laughs> I've got it. Everything is just fine. It's just a little stinky. Wait a minute. This could be my first mystery. Better pull out my uh, handy notebook. Okay, what's step number one? Find a mystery you want to solve. Got it. Why is the trash stinky? Step two, gather all the clues you can. Hmm, what do we have here? Spaghetti, bananas? What's this? A leaf? Hmm. All that stuff comes from plants. Looks like this mystery just got its first clue. Now what? Step three. Learn what others know about your mystery. Hmm. Maybe the house plant knows something. Seems like a good place to start. Excuse me, a uh, plant? My name is Detective Clover, and I'm investigating some stinky trash in the office. I'm wondering if you might be able to help me out. I found a leaf in the trash. Uh, you wouldn't happen to know anything about this, would you? 
I don't suppose you might have been there? Hello? Oh, I see how it is. Not talking, are we? You know, that does make you look awfully suspicious. Still sure you don't have any information? That's it. Yeah! Why did you make that trash stinky? What is this about? Answer me! Weasel, what are you doing to that poor plant? Jeepers, Walter. First of all, I'm a ferret. And secondly, I'm digging into an emergency case. The office trash is stinky, and I'm afraid it won't stop there. Before you know it, the whole apartment will be stinkier than a litter box. What litter box? I don't know, any litter box. Even a clean one? Look, the litter box is not important. Do you know why the trash is stinky? Well, I don't know. You say stinky, but that could be a lot of stuff. There are so many wonderfully smelly smells. What are you doing to the plant? I'm trying to get information on this mystery and the plant won't talk. I figured it was time to do things the hard way. That's what the detectives in the movies do. I think you just can't hear it. I came in here because I heard the plant shouting for you to stop. My big ears pick up a lot, you know. Oh, eh. sorry, plant. <laughs> Honest mistake. Uh, can plant understand us? Sure can. Plant, I need to know what you have to do with the stinky trash in the office. Mm, plant says it doesn't know what stinky means because it doesn't have a nose or mouth to detect bad flavors and smells. Uh, it says the leaf must be from another plant, though, because plants can't move. Oh, yeah. Wait, plant, how do you eat if you can't move and you don't have a mouth? Plant says it makes food from sunlight and air. Oh, that's why they put you next to the sunny window. How do you do that? Plant doesn't know, but it says there's a book on the shelf with a picture of a plant on the cover. It wonders if you could read it out loud so it can learn more about itself. Sure thing. Uh, let's call it my apology for attacking your roots. Thanks for the assistance translating, Walter. Oh, do we get to rip up paper? Oh, that's one of my favorite games. Uh, no, this is a book. It has answers in it. Hey, plant, can you hear me? Yep, it can hear you. Okay, well, it says here that photosynthesis is what allows you to make food. Photo means light and uh, synthesis means making. It looks like your leaves have special cells. They use the sun's energy to take a part of air and a part of water to make sugar. Your leaves make food for the entire planet using energy that comes from over 92 million miles away. Wow! Plant is pretty impressed. So am I. Yeah, it kind of sounds like a cool superpower. But photosynthesis is the superpower of plants. I like it. Yeah, but it still doesn't solve our mystery. Do you mind if I go check out the trash? Maybe I can find something with my big nose. Good idea, Walter. I'll, I'll join you. Hmm. Yep, there's definitely something different about the office trash. Ew, gross. How can you eat something that smelly? Smells good to me. Warm and delicious. Wait, did you say warm? I guess that trash did feel warmer than the normal stuff. Hmm, that gives me an idea. Okay, here's the room temperature and the stinky stuff. Aha! It really is hotter than the room. Hmm, 
This leaves me with more questions. I need time to think. You do that. I'll let you know if I find any clues. The whole place was silent, and my only lead just ran out. Now what? I discovered a mystery, gathered all the clues I could. I even asked Walter and Plant about what they knew. I guess I'm doing the steps, but what's up number four? Use your knowledge to make an educated guess? I can't see anything. Apparently, whatever is making this trash stinky and warm is invisible. Hmm, maybe it's not invisible, just really small. Wait, the microscope? Humans use those to see stuff that's so small it normally is invisible. Okay, what's my next step? Test your guess by trying something others haven't done. I guess looking under a microscope could count. I haven't seen anyone doing that with stinky trash. Grab some samples here. There we go. Holy moly, what are those? And what are they doing? Um, excuse me? What are you? Me? Oh, you don't know me. Well, I'm a sure she a coli. Uh, okay. Do you know why it's hotter in here than in the other trash? Well, I don't know about the other trash, but it's hot down here because we are working hard. You heat up too when you're working hard, don't you? In fact, we often heat things up to the point that they steam. Heck, we can even work so hard we set things on fire. Well, that only happens every once in a while, but it does happen. Whoa, cool. So, what are you doing here? Well, we started multiplying on this spot because there was plenty to eat, but me and my buddies are everywhere. Wait, what do you mean by everywhere? Well, let's see. You know how you digest food? Yeah. Are you sure? Um, yeah, my stomach mashes it up. It does do that, but it only breaks your food down so far. To really make that stuff usable, you need us microbes around to make the energy and nutrients inside your food usable. Wait. You're inside me? Of course. Without me and my buddies, you could eat all you want, but your stomach and intestines wouldn't be able to get their jobs done without microbes. Ew. Hey, did you know that for every cell in the human body, there are two of us? Oh, blah. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not a human. Clearly, they need to work on their hygiene. Speaking of hygiene, do you know what the terrible smell is? Well, I don't know about smelling bad, but the air sure does smell like our breath. We let off gases when we start breaking things down. Oh, gross. <laughs> Wait, why does your breath smell so bad? Well, put it this way. Us microbes are often a good thing when we're living in your body. But there are many different kinds of microbes, and the ones that smell stinky to you are dangerous to you. Since your eyes can't normally see us, your nose tells you that it's not safe. It looks like this trash doesn't smell good to you, which means it's dangerous. Wait, what? Dangerous? How dangerous? I don't know, but some bacteria are strong enough to kill you. Yikes! Wait, Walter! No! Walter, stop! The smell, it, it'll kill you! What? That trash is full of bacteria that can kill you. I, I just put it under a microscope, and it's full of them. I just ate a lot of that. I have to do something to save the apartment. I have to kill them. As a detective of honor, I will give them fair warning. You grab the bleach. Okay. E, e. coli, I, I wanted to give you fair warning. I'm going to have to kill you and all the other microbes in the trash. Ah, wait. Did you listen to anything I just said? Us microbes and bacteria are important. 
Yes, but but that's when you're inside me. When you're out here and you smell bad, you're dangerous. My friend could die, all because he liked the way you smelled. If your friend liked the smell, that's probably his nose saying it's okay for him to eat us. All you have to do to keep safe is not touch us. Besides, we're important outside your body as well. Oh yeah? Like how? Without us, plants would die. I don't think so, buddy. I just learned a lot about plants, and all they need is air, sun, and water. You better not be making this up. No, no, no. I swear. Bacteria and microbes have a huge part in the nutrient cycle. We multiplied on the spot to eat the trash, but us eating does more than just feed us. It changes the trash into soil. What? You mean dirt? Yeah. Dirt is where plants get their nutrients. They don't need much, but every living thing needs nutrients, and we make the nutrients in the trash available. Hmm. We make nutrients available. Just like in humans' bodies? Exactly. Except instead of food, we are turning the trash into dirt. That feeds plants, and when we feed plants, we feed you. Even if you normally do that for plants, you're in trash. Don't you know you're just going to end up in a dump? Maybe, but if you fed this trash to plants, you might be able to grow more food instead of just burying something that's stinky. You can't get rid of us. Plants need us, which means you do too. Okay, fine. You can keep making the trash stinky. Just don't stop breaking things down. That sounds like a good deal to me, Miss, uh... Clover. It's Detective Clover. Well, have a good evening, Detective Clover. Hmm. It looks like I solved my mystery. Let me look at my notebook. Step six. Take a look at what you've done and find out if it fit into your mystery. What does it all mean? I guess it means that stinky trash is a lot more important than I thought. Step seven. Tell others. Good timing, notebook. So are you ready to bleach the trash then? We can't do it. Why not? It seems the microbes that make trash stinky also allow all of life on Earth to exist. I thought that's what the plant's superpower does. You mean photosynthesis? Yeah, that's it. Photosynthesis gives us energy. Bacteria help us get nutrients. We need both. Yeah, but that doesn't affect us here. That's where you're wrong. Photosynthesis gives us the energy to be alive. Without that, there would be no apartment. And without stinky trash bacteria, neither us nor the plants could get the nutrients we need. Huh. Who knew stinky trash was so important? Solving mysteries is fun, and there are a lot more around here than I thought. That's why you need a detective. Do detectives ever take on assistance? Sure. You were pretty helpful this time. And it's nice to have a partner in crime. Well, solving crimes, that is. All you need is a notebook, the seven detecting steps, a recording device, I prefer my pencil, and the most important ingredient of all. What? What is it? Sorry, incoming human. It'll have to be next time. Okay. Oh, not again. What a mess. <laughs> Thank you.